As much as I love making Beach Boys videos, there are still many videos I need to make, albums that I have to talk about. One that's been on my list of things to do for a long time is 1998's Endless Harmony Soundtrack, a collection of rare and previously unreleased songs that were released in conjunction with the Endless Harmony film. This is something I'd love to talk about, but the problem with reviewing Endless Harmony Soundtrack is that first of all, you have to rewatch the film and see how all of these songs were used and figure out which songs were in the film but aren't on this album and whatnot. But of even greater difficulty, Endless Harmony Soundtrack has a reissue from 2000 and some of the songs are different, either different mixes or in one case one of the radio promos is swapped out. This has a hidden track at the end, while this one doesn't. And it makes it all the more confusing to actually talk about this release because we have to go through and highlight all the differences. To further compound the problem, this is actually a later 1998 release, so some of the uh, alternate tracks are the same as on here, but some of them aren't. And it's something I've kicked around doing for a long time, but I've never actually figured out the best and the most comprehensive way to do it. So, no Endless Harmony soundtrack video on the near horizon. But I got to thinking, what's something similar to that? An anthology collection, a collection of rarities or oddities that I could talk about, because people really seem to like my box set reviews. I realized, hey, let's talk about something that's kind of a box set smashed onto two discs. Let's talk about 2001's Hawthorne, California, birthplace of a musical legacy. The Beach Boys attempt to make a Beatles anthology album, basically. Now, Hawthorne, California is like those Beatles anthologies in the sense that we have a lot of spoken word stuff. Most of it recorded in the late 90s for that Endless Harmony film I just mentioned, but a couple tracks are older. And in addition to that, we have instrumentals, alternate takes, things like that. But Hawthorne, California really didn't resonate much with audiences. We'll talk about as we go why that is. But that was definitely kind of the template for it, looking at those anthology albums. Of course, it's named after the Beach Boys' hometown. If you visit there today, you can actually visit the Beach Boys' historic landmark, which I highly recommend doing. It looks lame in every picture online, but in person, it's much more impressive. Let me show you a couple photos of that now. Hawthorne, California neither charted nor went gold and really doesn't have a huge following, but it is influential in the Beach Boys community too, and it has influenced uh, releases that came after it. Beach Boys Complete Guide notably calls it an official bootleg, and I can kind of see why that is. It's very scattered and we're not really focused on any one thing. But let's take a look through the two CDs that are inside here and talk about what is unique to it, what we've seen since, and why, if you uh, think it looks appealing, why you should purchase it for your Beach Boys library. So we start off with actually the same two opening tracks from Made in California. We start with Mike Love introducing Surfin and some Surfin rehearsal sessions from the Beach Boys' very first taping bit here. Uh, the Made in California versions are slightly different. Uh, notably, California Feelin' is mixed into Mike Love's introduction. Hi, this is Mike Love speaking in Radio Luxembourg, that kind of thing. And California Feelin's play is part of that. And also the sessions, the surf and rehearsal, uh, is shortened for Made in California. The Beach Boys talking about bopping each other in the mouth for, you know, um, not singing the correct lyrics or singing at the correct time is edited down some. It's also different from the opening to the 30th anniversary box set from 1993. That uses different tapes as well. We have Happy Birthday for a Freshman. That popped up as a hidden bonus track on disc one of the Good Vibration set. It's nice to have it here as a complete delineated non-hidden track. We have Mike Love talking about the four freshmen, their influence on Brian. Their hearts were full of spring. If you watched my video on Sunshine Tomorrow's digital sequel, known as Live Sunshine, this was last week's video, I talked about all the rehearsal tapes, all the Hawaii stuff, and as we know, most of that Hawaii stuff was kept in the can until 2017. 
Although the release on Hawthorne, California claims to be the live rehearsal, there is no live rehearsal tape from that date on Live Sunshine. I think they actually used the live in studio version that was later released on Late in Hawaii. So, not quite what's advertised. We have a Surfing USA demo. That was the opening track to the Good Vibrations box set there. This mix is a little bit different. Slightly different edit. It doesn't have like a little session at the beginning, which is fine. Not a huge difference there. And then something that is unique to this set that we've never had before, the backing instrumental to Surfing USA. It's very strange because we, every year, usually, we get some kind of downloadable box set. But the one for 1963 includes very little Beach Boys material. Most of it's Brian Wilson material. There's some really cool stuff on the big beat. His demo for Thank Him, uh, which has been made into a stunning AI, the most realistic AI I've ever heard. We have his demo for Jan and Dean's New Girl in School. There's some Honey's material. But Beach Boys stuff is pretty light. And so because of that, Surfing USA Instrumental remains exclusive to this release. Carl does a quick radio promo. It's from later in their career, probably the late 60s, and Brian is talking about going to the show and seeing Bruce and Al, and why not all play. We have a live track we've, that has since been released, and the only live track on the Hawthorne, California set. We have Shut Down from the first show, from the 2015 downloadable set live in Chicago, 1965. This is my least favorite Beach Boys album, collection, compilation, whatever you want to call it. Someday I'll do a video on that. But the take of Shutdown is, is pretty fun. I do enjoy that one. We have a demo for Little Deuce Coop, also unique to this set. The lyrics aren't quite there yet, but there are some cool changes. Like at one point, one of the lyrics goes, She may be fine, that 409, but I'll shut down any clown around. It's kind of interesting. It doesn't flow as well as the final song, but we have no Little Deuce Coop sessions or instrumentals or anything, so having an early version of the song is pretty neat. Murray Wilson directs the group singing a radio promo for Murray the K. And then we have Fun 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 backing instrumental. Last summer I talked about the release called Keep an Eye on Summer. And this has that same backing instrumental with additional sessions. If you're looking for a more comprehensive experience, go with the digital release here. If you want just the instruments and very little session stuff, go with Hawthorne, California. Brian Wilson's radio promo to Roger Christian is an alternate take is used for this release along with the first stereo version of Dance, Dance, Dance. Then we have Kiss Me Baby Acapella and Good To My Baby backing instrumental. When it comes to 1965, we only have two archival sets. The aforementioned Live in Chicago and one we're going to come back to in a little bit. Beach Boys Party, Uncovered and Unplugged, which remixed all of the party songs and provided outtakes. We don't have a box set for Beach Boys Today or for Summer Days and Summer Nights, so a lot of these tracks remain exclusive to this. We'll actually see several here, that because we don't have a fancy 1965 box set like we should for two spectacular albums, we're stuck with just kind of odds and ends. So the Kiss Me Baby acapella, a little bit of it was used as the hidden bonus track on Endless Harmony, just a small piece of it, but the whole thing is here, good to my baby instrumental, or yeah, instrumental, uh, exclusive to this set still. Chuck Britz talks about Brian being a man with a plan. Salt Lake City gets its first stereo remix, we've heard that since, but we also get some sessions which are really funny, great to hear Brian directing the horn section in the studio, that remains exclusive to this as well as sessions for And Your Dream Comes True, which despite being a short a cappella, apparently was a very big undertaking, and we get one of the early kind of excerpts from that called Wish That He Could Stay, and then we get a stereo remix of the final a cappella, uh, that session unique to this. Uh, Carol Kay playing on Little Girl I Once Knew. Some of this actually popped up on a solo album, Brian Wilson's Live at the Roxy, a great live album and they used some of the sessions for this song at the beginning of the concert to introduce the song The Little Girl I Once Knew. So we've seen some of that elsewhere. An alternate take of The Little Girl I Once Knew, which remains exclusive to this. It's not wildly different from the final, but I like a lot of the different things that we hear, and the song was kind of almost to its final stage, but not quite yet. We get a lot of stuff for Beach Boys Party. So again, we have this box set, you can just get the new mixes on LP, or if you buy the CD set, 
like this, you get all the unused songs, alternate takes. We have um, some Barbara Ann sessions, mostly from takes one and two of session number five on this set here. They kind of re-edit them, but they're all there. The first time we hear the unplugged version of Barbara Ann, that would be reused on Made in California later. And then Mike Love praises the Everly Brothers, and we get a remix of Devoted to You. That was not reused on Made in California. I think they used There's No Other Like My Baby instead, so it's kind of nice to hear it here. This version, um, this unplugged version, would be used on the Sounds of Summer set that came out last year. That kind of thing. And then finally, Dennis thanks everybody and in the, to the tune of In the Back of My Mind. It's a really nice message from Dennis. And I like that we get even just a small instrumental of In the Back of My Mind. Very beautiful song. And there's a hidden track of the Beach Boys singing a little jingle to KFWB Radio in Concert, which is a radio station in Los Angeles. Very, very nice stuff. And that would take care of the first disc. So, a few unique things few things that uh, we've seen since, some of them kind of upgraded. Very cool. Disc 2, put over there. Disc 2, nice collage on the inside there. Of the set starts with Can't Wait Too Long. We get a 50 second kind of uh, acapella session mix. Can't Wait Too Long. You can find sessions on a lot of different releases because the song was never finished, but a lot of stuff was recorded for it. Probably the most comprehensive version on 2018's I Can Hear Music. This just uses the brief 50 second uh, mix there. That would pop up on Made in California as well. We get uh, Dennis introducing Carl to a sped up version of Good Vibrations. So the Beach Boys predicting Nightcore long before it happened. We get a unique take of Good Vibrations track sections. This edit is different than any other one I could find. I checked on my big smile set. Here's the little smile set. I have the big one too. Checked on Made in California. A lot of these are different takes, so I'm glad we have something unique there. Good Vibrations Concert Rehearsal, again, like with Their Hearts Were Full of Spring, pretty sure it's the same as the Laid in Hawaii live in studio version from September of 1967 that we see here on Sunshine Tomorrow. Doesn't sound like the actual live rehearsal for the song uh, from Hawaii. The first stereo mi mix of Heroes and Villains. Vegetables Instrumental Promo. So some of this is on the Big Smile set. This is Hal Blaine and Brian making like a little comedy skit to promote vegetables. Hal Blaine saying, those are my vegetables. You can't have any of them. That kind of thing. The version on the Big Smile set is quite a bit different. It has some of the same material, but not all of it. It has some outtakes. So this is a re-edit, but it also has unique material. And then we get a vegetables instrumental. This is the version without the Mama Says piece, more like the Smiley Smile version. You can find a very similar recording, possibly even just a heavy remix, on this uh, Sunshine Tomorrow CD. You're With Me Tonight, uh, which would later become the song With Me Tonight. That is, this is a unique rehearsal, Brian telling the boys to smile as they sing. That remains exclusive to this, not on the big smile set. Lonely Days, which is really one of only two new Beach Boys songs, I guess. Songs that people wouldn't have heard yet. Lonely Days isn't really a complete song. We only get 50 seconds of it. But uh, an extended version, a more comprehensive version, is on Sunshine Tomorrow. Bruce talks about Wild Honey. This was actually used in some of the concert films for the Wild Honey tour. The clip of him saying, that's a good album, that kind of thing. But surprisingly, we get next to nothing from Wild Honey. Really, the biggest thing is a stereo remix of Let the Wind Blow. And again, first scene here, and then we come back into greater limelight here. But it's odd that they build it up and then not actually include that much from it. I Went to Sleep, a cappella. That would be later used on 2020. I don't think that dates to the Wild Honey sessions. That's also on 2018's I Can Hear Music. And the only other Wild Honey-ish track is an alternate take of Time to Get Alone which was considered for both Wild Honey and Friends, remixed and readjusted several times. This mix is exclusive. This is, I think, the longest version of the song. It's really cool. It's a beautiful song. We have Alan and uh, Brian talking about Dennis and how he had such a big heart. And we get his song, A Time to Live in Dreams, which was the other song that's basically new. Again, still not a finished, polished song, but certainly closer than Lonely Days was. And both that and the Be With Me instrumental were remixed quite well for 2018's I Can Hear Music. 
we get an introduction to Cotton Fields, and it gets its new stereo remix. Cotton Fields has only been available in mono, at least widely, previously. I know there was some fake stereo and kind of like mixing things done. Cotton Fields, of course, a song with a very unique and strange release history. Very fun song, Beach Boys Go in Country. Al and Carl talk about the song Breakaway, and we get an alternate take of Breakaway. This alternate take, for some reason, is on both The Warmth of the Sun from 2007, which I have a whole video on, and also on the Made in California set. The alternate take, this alternate version, sometimes the sessions are in there, sometimes they're not. But this has had almost as many releases as the actual finished official version of Breakaway. So figure that out. Watch my Spirit of America video. I do a deep dive into Breakaway and its production and release history. Then we have some Feel Flows era stuff. So it's things that we've seen only in the past couple years, you know, after this set turned 20 kind of come to light. We have Add Some Music to Your Day acapella and Forever acapella. Both got kind of upgraded mixes on Feel Flows. This is the small Feel Flows, not the big one too. Dennis Wilson does a little bit where he talks about making people happy is like a drug to him. That's what he likes to do. And we get something from Sail on Sailor. We get a backing track for that song. This was remixed and extended slightly for the Sail on Sailor box set release last fall. We get Old Man River vocals. These were reused on Made in California and also on the uh, I Can Hear Music set. Interestingly enough, some versions have them or have uh, Old Man River paired up with Stephen Foster's Old Folks at Home, like this release here, this two for Friends in 2020. But this opted to just include Old Man River, which made it unique at the time. It wasn't sort of a classics medley there. Carl Wilson talks about the spirituality of music. We have a stereo remix of The Lord's Prayer. We often forget that Little St. Nick's B-Side was their cover of The Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer made its LP debut on Beach Boys Rarities, which someday we'll do a video on. But it's neat to hear it here in stereo, and it's not on a lot of Christmas sets. They usually skip this one. I think the first CD pressing had it, if I remember right. But yeah, very kind of strange to hear it here, but I like it. I'm glad it's here. And Carl Wilson's outro, which was repurposed for Made in California, where he talks about, you know, their music brings joyfulness and so on to so many people. And indeed it does. And we get a little bit of uh, a cappella heroes and villains backing vocals as a hidden track, as a closer. So a very interesting set. We've just gone through the whole thing there. Pretty cool stuff. Ultimately, though, not really that successful. It does have a legacy. A lot of stuff from Made in California, the ending and beginning both repurposed, a lot of the same basic mixes and things used, but Hawthorne, California doesn't really feel like it's building to anything. It just kind of is, here's a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, a little bit of this. You know, like Endless Harmony soundtrack had a lot of stuff, like actual songs, that had never been heard before. Brian's Back, All Alone, uh, Loop De Loop, all kinds of stuff that, yeah, you might not like them, but there's still new Beach Boys stuff, un previously unheard. Very little of that here. A lot of it's alternate takes, alternate mixes. Fascinating for fans, but for people just getting into the group, maybe not really worth shelling out the money for. And also, as those reviews say online, it is kind of unorganized. It is roughly chronological and thematic in places where it's not, but it doesn't ultimately feel like it's going anywhere. It's kind of just, again, a little bit of everything. You know, those Beatles anthologies had new Beatles songs, Free as a Bird, Real Love, that kind of stuff to work towards. This doesn't. It doesn't feel like it has a mission. It's kind of like, hey, you like the Beach Boys? Here's a bunch of stuff. And I can kind of see why people maybe frown on it a little bit, but I have a good time with it. I think it's worth checking out, and if you want to start digging deeper into the group, good place to go. And also has quite a bit of unique stuff, either unique mixes or just completely original tracks. So pretty cool. Please put your comments below, and I'll see you next time. We have Beach Boys Christmas stuff coming up, along with a review of Live in London. Hope to see you there for those. Go out there and catch a wave. Thank you.